Hi, I'm Tyrone Miller and welcome to Preview TV. We are here for our O24 special with director of O24, Leah Chanda. So you directed this blockbuster coming out in the cinemas this summer. In what ways does your media product use, develop or challenge the forms of conventions of real media products? Zero Two Four is a hybrid of genres. We wanted to combine a thriller, action, and political horror. Our genre itself challenges a combination of genres. We wanted to bring a horror element into an action thriller film and make the storyline more complex by making it political. The subgenre of political <coughs> horror was also classified for the film The Purge, which also had a more complex storyline than typical horror films, which traditionally show blood, gore, and killings. Similarly to The Purge, we want it to have a deeper meaning and portray society in a way which would make the audience think how society can become. Oh, so what were your initial inspirations? We looked at The Purge and Elysium as both these films captured the contrast in rich and poor society. Similarly to Elysium, Zero Two Four is set in the future. We want to show a future where the modern society can eventually break down into a dystopian world. This was mainly inspired from Elysium and touched upon in The Purge when they showed potentially how society can be in the future if the laws change. This challenges the audience interpretation of how they believe society may be in the future. Oh, so how do you show this in your trailer? We show this through a contrast of establishing shots by capturing iconic parts of London which were familiar with our audience and showed London in its usual normality. We then showed opposing shots such as abandoned buildings and run-down graffiti walls creating an uneasing atmosphere and presenting London in an unfamiliar way. This was to challenge audiences' knowledge of the capital they are used to seeing. For example, in our bird's eye view of London Bridge, we showed an iconic shot to set the location of our film and draw an audience's attention right from the beginning. This was initially inspired from Elysium, where they showed the futuristic world in contrast to the poverty. We also looked at other films with a similar genre, and their use of intertitles using simplistic fonts. We thought this would be appropriate to use as it would set the scene and give the audience an insight to our storyline. It fits in with the conventions of an action film and establishes the narrative. So Leah, the question everybody's asking is, what was the piggybacker's character in the film? The piggybacker is seen as the antagonist, however his character challenges the typical portrayal of an antagonist. The pig connotes dirt and someone uncivilised, and you expect him to be the villain with no good intentions. However, the piggy banker is trying to fight for equality between the higher class and lower class, therefore is underestimated as the protagonist. We portray the rich upper class as the antagonist as they are ignorant and greedy with money. This challenges Hollywood's traditional portrayal of white higher class people in films, and challenges the audience's interpretations as he is shown as quite sinister. However, if they watch the film, they will understand his character is much more justified than they think. What makes O24 a Hollywood film? Zero Two Four is a big budget Hollywood blockbuster, although the setting challenges Hollywood as most Hollywood films are based in America. However, this film is set in London as it was more suited for us to film uh, as we have a lot of access to the city. This is similar in Skyfall, which is a big Hollywood film and famously known to be set in London. This is shown throughout our trailer by the established shots and British flag. Similarly to Skyfall, although it is based in Britain, the film has been influenced by Hollywood. For example, the length of our trailer challenges typical teaser trailers as it is longer than a minute. This was intentionally to attract a wider audience as we want this film to fit within the blockbuster category. We need a higher budget and more viewers to make our money back. Therefore, we made our trailer a lot longer than others. This was similar in other big Hollywood films such as Elysium. Now, Leo, I've seen a lot of films in my time, but what makes O24 different? Zero Two Four is unique as it is set in the year 2024. This is subtly shown in the trailer when we show a low angle shot of the shard. We thought this building is stylish, therefore looked extremely modern. This fits in with most action films as they show stylish buildings. For example, in Elysium, a futuristic world is shown in an opening panning shot and a modern town is shown in The Purge. We also wanted our trailer to have an urban feel to represent the lower class. 
We did this with the use of graffiti locations and abandoned buildings. We also created a CCTV effect on some of our shots to suggest the city is watching them. Therefore, the upper class are threatened and audiences should feel threatened too. This was inspired by the scenes in the Purge trailer where CCTV footage is flashed throughout. Unlike the Purge, our shots are filmed in the daytime to suggest the piggy bankers' organisation attacks at all times of the day. This challenges conventions of horror films where the antagonist is only shown at night or in the dark. The soundtrack also stands out. At the beginning, we edited our established shots in time with the music to build up the pace. However, instead of continuing on a fast pace, the music slowed down, allowing the pace to also slow down. The music becomes much softer. This allows us to sh slow down the editing, and even though the shots on screen are still so showing action, the mood of the trailer changes. This follows typical conventions of actress in a film. After hearing that, I would definitely see it in cinemas. But the question is, do I get a free ticket?